You know, one of the things I really like about my HDS units and my uh, Evernote eTech is I have the ability to see all my engine functions through my LaRanche HDS unit. Now, I didn't get any gauges on my new boat. I put an HDS unit in here because I knew I was going to be doing this. But if you have an HDS unit in your boat anywhere, if you use it for your regular sonar and GPS, you have regular gauges with the cable that actually hooks up to the computer to your Suzuki, your Yamaha, or your Evinrude E-Tech engine, you can actually get all this information overlaid on any of the screens on the HDS. But just want to show you here on, the, on this dedicated unit that I use for my gauges, all the information you can get to make sure your engine is performing the way it should. I can get a percentage of fuel, so I see what my fuel tank is percentage-wise. In the middle here, I've got my miles per gallon. <laughs> That'll scare you when you're running an engine. You'll find out how little gas my you actually do get, but that lets you kind of plan a day. The big thing about this is I found out that my best cruising speed and trim is at about uh, 32 miles per hour, about 36% trim at about 3,200 RPMs. I can get almost 3 miles, 3.1 miles per gallon on my engine. So if I want to conserve fuel or just not waste a lot of fuel, I can watch my miles per gallon, use my trim and my uh, in my RPMs and my engine and my trim gauge and my speed to get the best fuel mileage I can get. I got a battery voltage, very important to make sure my voltage stays up on my engine, make sure my alternator is putting out. I've got my tachometer here which is critical to see if your prop is right for your boat. You always want to be turning RPMs up towards the max amount allowed by your engine. That makes it perform the best and gives you the best hole shot and the best speed. So something to play with, make sure your RPMs are right. Got my speed over ground. I don't use that a lot because I usually get that off my, my GPS but it's nice to kind of see my miles per hour on here. In the middle here, this is pretty important. This is my water pressure gauge. So I can actually see a problem start to happen with my water pump before my buzzer goes off and I get a low water pressure and get a cooling problem. I can actually watch my water pressure and make sure it stays where it needs to stay in pounds per square inch. I can make sure it stays there both at idle, at trolling speed, and when I'm running, make sure my water pressure is within the parameters set forth in my owner's manual so I can see a problem coming with my cooling system before it actually comes. I get a warning light. It's too late by then. I can actually watch that. I've got a trim gauge over here that runs from 9 degree trim, which is all the way down to about 85% trim, which is all the way up. Pretty important to watch. Again, work that with your speedometer and your tachometer and your miles per gallon, kind of get you find that sweet spot. I've got my engine hours, pretty important for maintenance. Now, I got 286 hours. My first scheduled maintenance on my E-Tech is at 300 hours, so I'm getting kind of close. Time for me to call Stan up Freeway and make sure that I can get in and get my 300 hour check taken care of, and he'll get me all set and all tuned up and ready to go. I've got my gallons of gas left in my fuel tank. If you have multiple tanks, you can set up multiple tanks and read each one. Now, I've only got one tank, so this is my center tank, but I can see how many gallons I have, you know how many gallons I've ran each day and how much when I need to put gas in, into my tank. Of course, I have a clock. It's always nice to know what time it is so you can kind of plan your day. And then I have something important that goes along with my pressure gauge, my water pressure gauge, is I have an engine temperature. Again, you want to look, look in your owner's manual, find out what your parameters are on your engine and make sure it stays in those parameters. The nice thing about this setup is I can set the cold temperature and the hot temperature anywhere I want so I can know that I got this running inside the range that my book suggests. Now I run my hot a little hotter. I really don't want to run much more than 180, 182 on this engine. That's kind of the high end of getting in trouble. So I run my high at 200 on my gauge so I can start to see it get to 182 and know that as I get close to the top I'm really in trouble. But I want to keep that most times at idle speed or trolling speed it's going to be around that 140, 150 mark. When I'm running wide open, it stays around 132 to 140, depending on water temperature and other parameters, but it stays in that range. So with my water pressure and my engine temperature, I can really start to see problems before they become problems. They're just small issues. I can get them fixed before they become problems and turn on a buzzer. Remember, buzzers, warning buzzers, or what we call idiot lights, go off when you've already got a problem. Being able to watch these parameters give you a chance to see a small issue develop before it becomes a problem and get it fixed. You have the ability with a small cable through the Lowrance network, hook this up, you can, you can overlay this data onto a regular sonar GPS screen, or you can do a dedicated unit. You can get any of these little pieces of data, just like water temperature or depth, that you can overlay on any of the screens and see it. I would definitely suggest if you have an HDS unit, you have an Evernote E-Tech, a Suzuki or a Yamaha motor, get the engine interface cable, hook it up, have the ability to see these parameters, see how your engine performs so you can make sure you're getting the most out of your engine, the best gas mileage, and you can keep an eye on your engine. So when there's small issues that could create a problem, you can take care of them, nip them in the bud, and stop problems. So try this network engine interface cable on your Lance HDS. Really cool feature. It allows you to get the most out of your boat and be safe.